Joe and Helen Roberts, are an ordinary retired couple who live in Fleetwood, near Blackpool in Lancashire. Joe and Helen are Christians, and one day they telephone their local council to make a complaint. But what happened next was an appalling attack on their civil liberties. We're Joe and Helen Roberts. After reading a newspaper article uh, about uh, the council wanting to give um, permission for homosexual literature to be placed, uh, we got in touch with them um, just by a phone call. Uh, a few days later, the police came to our house. Um, well, when I turned around, I saw these two foot, two six foot six uh, policemen stood there and they whipped these papers out and accused me of uh, being homophobic. And um, saying that we were very, very near a hate crime and warned us we were walking on eggshells. And, uh, um, if if uh, it did go to a hate crime, we, it could be 70 years prison. We talked over the conversation and tried to find anything that we, either of us had said which could have created the situation for the police to come round. And we couldn't find any fault. We, we, we hadn't raised our voices, we hadn't been abusive, we hadn't been overcritical. Uh, we just said that we wanted to put a Christian point of view across where they were putting um, the homosexual literature. They never asked us what type of Christian literature we wanted to put out. They didn't ask could they see the leaflets. There was just a, a flat no and that was it, which we found strange to understand. This is not the first time that police have investigated people simply because they express their religious beliefs on sexual ethics. In 2003, police investigated the Bishop of Chester because he told his local newspaper of research showing that some homosexuals had reorientated to heterosexuality. In 2005, police in London questioned the Family Values campaigner Lynette Burroughs after she expressed the view on a radio programme that homosexual men may not be suitable for raising children. And in 2001, police arrested a street preacher from Bournemouth, who was subsequently convicted by magistrates of a public order offence because he held a sign expressing his religious beliefs that homosexuality was morally wrong. Well, after thinking about it, we realised what a serious situation it was. So uh, I formed uh, the Christian Institute up. As soon as I talked to Joe Roberts, I was alarmed. I mean, here you've got a, a, an ordinary Christian couple, pensioners, who are doing what you would hope that any Christian would do, which is getting involved in local democracy. And uh, the police are sent round. And the police spend uh, an hour and a half in their living room interrogating them about their Christian beliefs. I, I was astonished. And um, I realised then what most people realised as soon as they heard about the case, which was that we had to do something because if the police and the local council could get away with doing this to Christians, what else were they going to get away with? The media coverage was wall to wall. I mean, it was obvious to us that this was a case that the media were going to be interested in and uh, we contacted one of the national newspapers and uh, we explained about the story to them and they were, they were immediately interested and uh, they gave a big front page splash to the story and uh, within a short period of time, the Roberts case really became part of the general popular discussion. It was very clear to us that what the police and the council had done was unlawful. And so we advised the Roberts to lodge official complaints uh, with the police and with the council. The law was on their side. The Roberts, uh, to their eternal credit, their concern was always about the freedom for Christians in general. They were concerned about the gospel. But because the police and the council refused to admit that what they had done was wrong, the Roberts were advised by their lawyers that they really had no alternative but to go to law. My name is Tom Ellis. I'm a partner in the law firm Orton Ainsworth based in Manchester. I was the lawyer acting for Mr and Mrs Roberts in their case against the local authority and also the local police. The principle in the case was the right of Christians to express their beliefs without fear of public interference. When the case uh, was considered by, in the county court, the judge said it was so important it had to go straight to the high court, and it did. And that meant we were faced with in considerably increased costs. And we realised that Joe and Helen Roberts is a very important case, that, but there will be others like it too. And so we decided to set up a legal defence fund to cover this case and others like it, cases that were in, of national importance. 
over £300,000 has now been raised for our Legal Defence Fund. And uh, we're currently involved in the judicial review in Northern Ireland, and there are other cases on the go too. And the great thing is that if, if a case like Joe and Helen happens again, we'll be ready and we can go to court to protect our religious liberties and gospel freedom. Everyone put a huge amount of work into the Roberts case. We had a, a, a great legal team. We had a really strong case. And we always believed in the strength of that case. Um, but it was only as the trial date came closer, within weeks of the trial date, that I think that the police and the council started to realise that they might be in difficulty. And they then contacted the Roberts lawyers and said, look, we want to talk. They asked if we would go to mediation to try and negotiate some kind of out-of-court settlement on this. And, uh, uh, of course, the Roberts uh, had to be willing to, uh, to agree to that, but we had no idea what the outcome was going to be. Questioned by detectives after complaining that public money was being used to promote gay rights have won an apology and damages from the police. Joe and Helen Roberts from Fleetwood in Lancashire had complained to their local... Why a borough council have apologised to Mr and Mrs Roberts, writing... The council is committed to a policy of tolerance and equal treatment for all, including those holding strong religious views. Lancashire Police told the couple, We regret the upset, we understand you have felt, and offer this apology. Helen and Joe Roberts say they'll give their out-of-court payment to charity. The mediation was concluded with both the police and the local authority giving a written apology to Mr and Mrs Roberts, paying compensation and also legal costs which cost both the police and the local authority £65,000. Uh, more importantly, both the police and the local authority have reviewed their policies to make sure this cannot happen again to other Christians. Well, it really was a terrific uh, first case victory for the Legal Defence Fund, and it had a wonderful precedent that has been set nationally, and we know that police forces have been interested in this case and have been very careful to ensure that they don't do the same thing again. We should be able to speak freely and, and to be able to proclaim the gospel freely and, and uh, to promote the word. There's a, a lot of people who need to be um, saved and, and if they don't hear, how can they be saved? And I, I believe it's important that we, we speak and be allowed to speak freely. It's very important that Christians make a stand because if we don't seek to protect our freedom, there's a danger that we may lose it. So let's make a stand now while we can. If you would like more information about the Christian Institute's Legal Defence Fund or would like to make a donation, please visit our website www.christian.org.uk forward slash LDF. That's www.christian dot org dot uk forward slash ldf or telephone our office on 0191 281 5664 that's 0191 281 5664